Hey Falcons fans and welcome back to another edition of Falcons TV brought to you by La Quinta and we're here with head coach Ron Rolston as we're embarking on yet another three and three. I, from a coaching standpoint, uh, rest has got to be the most important factor heading into these weekends. Yeah, this is our fourth three and three in a row when we're it's the rest and really monitoring energy, but you also have to get better and, and work on things in practice. So it's a, it's a delicate balance of how hard you push them and you want them to go into the weekend with enough energy, obviously, to finish three games. Taking on the Bridgeport Sound Tigers on Friday. Man, that, that's got to be one after that Sunday game that you got to be anticipating maybe something happening. Is that the case? I don't know. I mean, a lot of times uh, after those games, it settles back in. So we have to make sure we're focused on what we need to do as a team to, to be successful. And they have a really good hockey team. So um, we're going to have to be ready to go uh, again at home. We haven't been great at home, and we need to make sure that we have a good start. Talking about rivalries, Providence Bruin is a team that you're facing both Saturday and Sunday. You're facing them 14 times this year. I mean, that's got to be something that you're looking at as a really long, season-long series. But if you win out those games, you got to be in a better standing position as well, huh? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, you don't want to get too far ahead of yourself. And obviously the focus on Friday is the most important thing. But in this next stretch before, um, you know, before the holiday, we've got nine games and seven are divisional games. So... And these points uh, that you have in December are crucial points for you as we move on down the season and playoff spots uh, get tighter. And we understand that. And our division's a tough division, so we're going to have to make sure that we uh, really have a good focus on those games. In the locker room, you have it broken down as segments for the players to look at as winning and losing those segments. Can you talk about what that means and what you have that distributed as? Yeah, it's where we're just trying to break the season down into small pieces for the players and they're just five game segments for the guys to look at and um, you know you're basically looking for a certain number of points in each one of those segments that'll give you a good opportunity to make the playoffs but it just kind of keeps the guys focused on a on a small goal that they can they can win every uh, five game segment and it also um, you know kind of chops things down instead of looking at the big picture looking at a smaller piece of it and making sure that you're staying on track. We're almost a quarter of the way through the season. In fact, I think we are a quarter of the way through the season. Has there been any good surprises for you as a head coach where you know you thought maybe the team has done better than you thought maybe going into the season? Well, I think we've had a couple uh, different swings. I mean, early on, we didn't certainly have the start we wanted to have, and then we built up a really good stretch where we won seven of eight. And uh, you know now we're, we're uh, with injuries and some call-ups and just different personnel. Uh, we're in a different situation, so we've had you know some some different phases in our season so far. But certainly, it's given guys uh, in this re most recent phase an opportunity to play in situations they probably wouldn't be before. So it's going to help the growth of those players. And uh, certainly, when we get guys back from injury, those players will be better uh, as individuals to help us as a team. Last time we talked to you on Falcons TV, you were still settling into Springfield. How has it been now since you've been here for a few months? It's great, actually. Uh, kids are into school and enjoying that, and obviously a great community around here, and, and uh, just the great tradition just to be a part of the Springfield Falcons. What do you like to do around uh, around the house or when you're away from the rink? Well, that's I'm here a lot of the time. <laughs> so. Uh, is it, so is that such a question? <laughs> so I'm here quite a bit of the time, but uh, when I'm home, just spending time with the family. I got a five and a seven year old, so I like to uh, spend my time with them when I'm at home and, and uh, make sure that that's quality time, especially because the weekends are the way they are with a lot of three and threes. So uh, that's really the main focus that I have as a, as a husband and father. Are, are your kids big into hockey as well? Yeah, they are. They come to all the games at home unless it's a weeknight. And uh, my son is five, and he's he pretty much knows every logo, every every team mascot in NHL and in the American League. So, uh, but they both enjoy it. So they're they, they're a big part of uh, obviously what we do. All right, coach. Thanks. Good luck. Yep. Thanks. All right, fans. We'll be back for Falcons TV every week during the course of the season. Thanks for watching.